Good morning, this is Zachary. I'm just doing this wood burning stove here. Um, it's a really nice one. Do you know what make this is? Any ideas? Good morning, this is Zachary. Um, and I am sweeping this really nice uh, uh, Vardy uh, Samso wood burning stove. There's a twin floor flue wall pipe system. It goes up. It's quite a bit, a uh, bit of a beast of a pipe. It go. It starts at the, 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 uh, the top of the wood burner. Goes all the way up, and then it goes outside the, the actual wall. And then there's a, an inspection hatch just outside. Then it goes all the way up. Um, it looks very, very clean. To be fair, uh, the cow looks absolutely spotless. So I just thought I'd show you that. So um, I don't know if it tells me what model number it, it is. Um, but anyway, I'll have a look at that instead of you just staring at the screen. But it's really nice. It's got a, um, a, a, a storage area for the wood, which is very good. I shall get on with the sweep. Right. First thing we're going to do is um, plug in the hoover. Got to do that. Give it a bit of a clean out inside. That's always important to do that first. Take this front bit off first. Just give us access to the, the grill. More or less exactly like the one we just done. It's got one of them inside. Put that there. And it's got bricks on the sides. You've got to take the bricks out first. Put one there. Get a bit more space to be fair here. So I'm just worried about all that because they're burning pellets so oily the last one so these side bricks now if I lift this up this will just come out there you go up just like that Good job, my hammer's always there. Always be careful when you're taking the baffle plates out. You get access straight up into that forward. Obviously it's got a spring door on it. So um, what we'll do is we'll put a... Just put a box on there like that. Basically, this one, it's got a metal plate in there that doesn't come out. But if you use the, the SOS happening here, all right, all right, we don't need that, thank you very much. See that metal plate there? But if you've got them special rods, you can get right the way around there, no worries. It's always important to sweep it from inside if you can. Um, obviously, because of that pipe there. Why is it flashing? Stop flashing. Yeah, I need to change the batteries on that so hopefully you can see that metal plate see that metal plate there and if you, you've got to use the 45 degree bend flue pipes to get around there to go all the way up to the top so, uh, and remember that these ones the actual 
brick comes out. So I'm going to put it a bit further back so you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm just going up there now. So basically, you don't really need to take these bricks out, but always, I don't know if you saw, but always be careful with the baffle plates. Always be careful with the baffle plates because you never know when they're going to come off. If they come off before you take the bricks out the sides, you could be in all sorts of trouble. But this one's in excellent condition. The customer wasn't too sure whether it was going to be dirty or not because they've only had it installed in April, I think last April. Uh, and normally the, the, the first first time you have these swept, they're, they're, it's normally the cleanest that you will ever get them. So like, um, and obviously they're burning the right words. The wood seems, you know, if you ever have ever, ever any, if you get a really dirty one, it's always a good idea just to check the fuel. Not, not to be nosy or nothing, but just to like, if they, you can help them because, um, you know, like, um, you know, the video that I've got where it tells you all the different types of wood that's good for, for burning and all that sort of stuff. So now we're at the top, we can bring it back down. Uh, literally, I'm doing it this way so you can actually see that just one of these uh, rods goes up into the actual appliance around that metal plate and it's all clean and as you can see there's not much coming down at all we should go and have a look outside in a moment just to double check but I've got to be honest with you I'm pretty happy with the way it is I remember because because it's got two well probably three let me just sort this out I know some of these have like just make sure you keep twisting it clockwise when you're bringing it down but you really don't want to lose it in here just a bit stiff that see and there you go look at that so it literally goes in there and you go around and you can just feel yourself going around in there and then push it up, it's just not staying still but and that's all you've got to do, let me see if I can get this stay in still so I can show you what I've just done and then you just push it up there you go and it's in just like that and then that obviously bringing it down look there's absolutely no soot coming down at all on it so um, it should be interesting to see what it's like next year but my rods have um, jammed up I'm sure you know what to do to undo them so what we're going to do now is we're just going to hoover it up get a brush To be fair, I knew it was going to be pretty clean. Just give it a quick wash around. Make sure you get all the corners and everything. Because if you don't, then what you're going to find is you're going to end up having it all building up. And then the next time you clean it, it could be very difficult. So, and I'm going to move this rod out of the way because it's going to get on my nerves. But yes, some of these have a like, little click and you can a little point. Just a little click on there that keeps it open. And I'll never find them. So I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring you a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Put you up there. What I'm going to do now? Sort on there here, so it's 
gonna pay for that all. I bet there's more stuff on top of this plate than there is actually in the appliance. And then obviously you can see where it's very self-explanatory where it goes back in. Because you've got the the, the look at, if you look at it, look. So it can only go one way. I have a fiddle about. Push it up in there, drop it down, and there you go, it's done. Make sure the sides are nice and tight. I'll just keep that right off the, um, the appliance. So, what we're going to do now is if you look down in there. I'll do one that, uh, a finishing one so you can see it properly but basically what you do is you always over the bricks and check make sure there's no hairline fractures and then on either side just stick them on either side and then um, always better to do that because literally one little bit of soot can, can make it really difficult for these to go back into position so you don't want that to happen And then, and then that, fingers crossed, it just sits back on there. Which it quite happily does. And that needs to go a bit further back. Fortunate. And the old screwdriver. I thought I'd leave it in there, in there, in here. What I'll do is push that back right at the back there, because I think it's, um, Helps with this, and then that goes like that, like that. And if it's loose like that, then all you've got to do is just bring the brake forward until it goes tight. in I can move it forward make it really tight yeah. still that must be the way it goes so never force anything it's just not worth it give it a hoover and then we'll go check the inspection hatch in a minute. But that is, um, get rid of all this stuff. It's nice to leave it all nice and clean for the customer. Do that. As I said, these are really cool when they're first done. So it's a really nice appliance, actually. It's been fitted really well. So no issues with that at all. That's it, it's all ready to go. Remember, if you get any finger marks on here, don't worry too much. They'll all come off in the first fire. You're always going to have to grab your hands. It's part of the job. Just take the gasket right. Remember, don't hoover it. It's got ash on it. Always. Um, Seems to be fine, you can see the outline of it on there. And you can see how much is coming down, there's not much coming down. But to be fair, as I said, I wasn't expecting a lot. Customers giving me the, um, the, the receipt, so, because I haven't got a clue what this 
this uh, blinds was, so put that to one side. Because there's just so many on the market now, it's just amazing. Absolutely incredible. They're just everywhere. So remember when you're sweeping these, you don't have to take the insides out. This will come out, it lifts up, it drops to one side, it's fine. It's not a problem. And it's very self-explanatory the way it goes. Anyway, have a great day. Doing exactly sweet. Right, just showing you this um, flue pipe on the outside. Look at the sunshine now. Ain't it gorgeous? You unclip it from here and then it drops down, but it's absolutely spotless. No issues with it whatsoever. Just thought I'd show you how it's all finished. Got a little bit of like green coming down here on the side. Nothing, nothing to worry about. It's just literally where the water's coming around the side. A lot of them do have this, so um, it looks all fine. So no, no issues with it at all. So everything's all looking in good order. So yeah, no problem. Obviously, I can't unclip them and show you what's up there at the same time. So, I oh, shall sure, just, as you can see, can't really see. You can see the light up there. Just a couple of cobwebs. This is all that's come down. Let's do it in the sunshine. And you can see it a bit better. A bit too bright now, but such a tiny little amount, and that's it. And they literally just go back up there and screw on there, and then that's that. It's all done, right? Basically, right, th this won't come undone, it's locked into position. So, what I normally use is a hammer, but I've been using this quite often. All you've got to do is just tap it like that. Keep twisting it, old school way, and just keep twisting it, and just keep twisting it, and then, look at that, comes off, just like that, you don't need a pair of pliers or anything like that, and it's done. It's such a simple process, all old school stuff, look, no split in there, just hit it and it comes out but hit it at the end of the metal as like just as i've done 